we put together an application that demonstrates how easy it is to engineer interactive canvas-based imaging applications. And we do it by randomly generating data or gathering data from the user through form inputs. Then we render the data on a canvas and save the canvas rendering as an image on the server that people can share on social sites or they can just download it. And there's a million different ways that you could use something like this. You can provide people with all kind of different imaging services. So first let me show you how it works. Let's say the recipient is John Doe from Adam Corey. Then I press the preview button and a preview of the image that's going to be rendered comes into view. And this is actually rendered onto an, a canvas element. And up here, all you see is a form with the background of the image that we're going to use. And inside of that form, we put some inputs where they need to be placed inside of the imagery to where it makes sense. And then when they press preview, we're rendering a canvas element that has all of the graphics that we want in place and you see we drew the names now at this point this is not an image yet now when I click render and share it says rendering please wait that's when it actually becomes an image on the server so all we have to do is send the user to some page I called it card.php and it has the ID for that image that's on the server the unique ID for that image. Now that way the user can just take it and share it online. They can download it, save image as, and right now it's a JPEG. So basically all we did was render an image from whatever dynamic values that the user provided to us. Now the birthday card is the example that you're going to get, but I just wanted to show you another example of having fun with this online. I can put my full name, my birth year, the year I died, and the cause of death. And it takes all that data that the user inputs and previews it onto a canvas. And then when they click render and share, it makes an image file out of this canvas. And then the user, once they get the image file, all they have to do is you put uh, like Facebook share buttons or Google share or whatever, Twitter share buttons. And it'll share the image automatically on those social networks. Or the user can just take the image, upload it or download it and then share it wherever they like. So there's lots of options once you get to the page that renders the image. So you can do a lot more than just make greeting cards and things like that. You can have fun with applications like this. You can also have applications that will randomly generate some content so the user doesn't have to type anything in. They can just put their name and then you can have in your program a an array of data that would randomly select an element out of it each time the user uses the application. So there's tons of different things you can do. I'm going to give you all of the code from both of the files. That way you can just reverse engineer and dig through everything. So you're going to get card create and card.php. Card create.php is the document that has the form on it that also renders the canvas preview. So this document has the form you can see right there, has the preview button, and it also has the canvas that the preview image will be rendered into. And this canvas, the image that gets rendered there, is also the exact image that's going to be saved onto the server. The image gets rendered from the canvas. And we're using code from Mr. Sean Lloyd's video right here. This little bit of code is from Mr. Sean Lloyd's video. I just changed PNG to JPEG, but you can render it as PNG if you like, no problem. And what this code does is it saves the raw post data from the canvas to an image file on the server. So it basically converts the canvas to an image. Okay, so you'll see that there's a couple of JavaScript functions here. Here's the function preview that renders everything into the canvas. Then here's function render, which actually sends an AJAX request that fires off this code up here that saves the canvas as an image and then it navigates them to card.php with the ID uh, get variable ID that shows the proper image. Then in card.php what you have is in the top portion you're checking to see if the ID is set in the get variables. And if it is we're going to gather it up and make sure we filter it. 
That way we can use it on the page to echo the image that we need to echo. Now this document is basically just for showing the image. So under the image you might want to put right here you might want to put Facebook share buttons, Twitter share buttons, and Google share buttons, whatever. That way the user after they make whatever image they were creating, once the image is shown to them, they can easily share it. Or you can give them instructions on how to download the image that was rendered dynamically by your program. You see I just used the time function and the MT rand function with the string of card in between those two strings of data that would be rendered. So it's always going to be a random ID and unique in the system. It'll be a unique random ID or file name. And all you have to do is click the link in the video description and you'll be able to get all the code so you can experiment on your own server. This has to be run on a PHP enabled server. You have to make sure that you have a uh, a directory called card images. You have to have a folder called card images on your server because that's where the file is going to be saved from the canvas rendering. So have a folder ready called card images or whatever you want to call that folder but both files are going to reference the image from that folder as you see here and here